Hi there! You saw lots of animal rescue videos on my channel. Some of them impressed you more than others. So, now I decided to gather all the coolest stuff in this video. Be ready to feel touched by the most amazing heroes that did an extremely significant job. The people from the rescue team found this dog hit by a car in the street. He couldn't stand and was very frustrated. There was a confused expression in his eyes saying, why? Why won't my legs work? When the rescue team took the dog to the hospital, no one knew for sure if it would be possible to help it walk again. Specialists examined the poor animal and found out that he had got a trauma to his spine which had caused serious nerve damage. The doctors had just a little hope to cope with it and they wanted to try. And they did. Sometime later the dog, which was called Georgie, was able to walk again. He was very happy, relieved and thankful to those who had saved his life. If not for these people, he would surely have not survived. A very small kitten fell down into the 43-foot water well, which, to make it worse, was just four inches wide. A woman, who had found him, heard loud cries from the deep and didn't know in what condition the poor little baby was. Every minute counted, because the kitten was there about four days. When the Hope for Paw team came to the place, it was the fifth day, and the mew was weaker and weaker. The specialist put a camera into the hole to see what was happening down there. They were almost desperate because to get this cutie from such a deep depth seemed to be impossible, but the people were doing what they could. The rescuers managed to grasp the kitten with the loop and pull it out. The kitten was so small and helpless that people were almost crying with sympathy and compassion. The poor kitten spent 120 hours starving, freezing, and almost motionless. In the hospital, the kitten was examined carefully and tests showed that there was nothing seriously wrong with the kitten. But without the rescuers, Jesse had no chance to survive. The tangled marine animals is a great problem. Two divers rush to help the tangled seals. It's a rather dangerous thing, as seals can be aggressive. So they had to catch the creatures from their car. They caught the animal by the scoop net and gently started to cut the ropes. They did it very quickly, and now all they needed to do is to set the creature free. When it happened, the frightened seal rushed to the water. Homeless dogs living in the street often have to find a shelter in piles of trash. This dog suffered greatly from mange and was not sure to survive in that place for long. She was so weak that she didn't resist when the people from Hope for Paws put the leash on her. Giving the poor thing some food, the rescuers managed to attract her to the car to take her to the hospital. In spite of her condition, she was trustful. Even when doctors were examining the creature, she didn't move and let them do what they needed to. Miley, as the rescuers called the dog, suffered from mange, parasites, bacterial infection, and a lot of time for recovering was required. In the center, she met Frankie, a little guy that had been rescued from the drain pipe and was really scared. Miley decided to take good care of him, and they became happy friends. Rescue Kittens Stuck in Mud This poor kitten had no chance of survival unless these young men noticed him when walking along the rice field. The little thing got into a pond and got stuck in mud. It was a rather difficult task to take the kitten out. We don't know how much time this little creature spent trying to get out, but it was completely tired and covered with mud. The men washed it to remove all the dirt. Of course, the kitten didn't like it. The men took this wet and unhappy thing with him and gave him some food. The kitten was sure to die without their help. This wild piglet was likely to die. The little thing fell down into the well and couldn't get out. The poor piglet was moving all the time because if he stopped, he was sure to drown. But there were some kind-hearted people who wanted to help this tiny boy. One of them went down into the well. When a baby piglet had almost no force, he took the little creature out. The piglet was so scared and tired that he couldn't even resist when a man held him in his hands. After a good meal and some medical help, this boy was set free. When some terrible disasters happen, not only people get in trouble, but animals suffer too. Thankfully, this dog was lucky. When the waters from the overflowing river washed the pup from the stone, it was trying hopelessly to climb the bridge wall, but failed falling into the water again and again. After that, 
The clever dog managed to get to the stones near the riverbank, risking being washed away. Fortunately, there was a local man who managed to come closer and took it out of the water. As the rescuer said, he couldn't stand by and watch the desperate animal dying. The dog was taken to the nearest shelter, where it got all the necessary help. Animal babies get into trouble very often, and sometimes their parents have no chance to help them. All they can do is stay and watch their babies suffering. So the mother of this poor thing was standing helplessly not far from it. But this little fawn was very lucky, because a man who was passing by noticed the poor baby being in trouble and tried to help it. Being stuck in the metal gate, it couldn't move and was very scared. The man pulled the fawn backward carefully and let it go. The cult stuck in the tree. The baby animals got into trouble very often, as they have no life experience but are very curious. This poor colt turned out to be in a very funny and tragic situation at the same time. He was desperately crying when people found him. The silly thing didn't understand that people were helping him and was fiercely trying to kick them. <laughs> at last, the little colt was released. If it had spent in this position too much time, it could have died. I always adore people that come to the rescue of an animal without any hesitation. People were walking their dogs along the river when one of them fell into the water. The bank was very abrupt and the pup couldn't get out. The dog was struggling fiercely for his life when the woman rushed to rescue the poor thing. But the pup was too heavy and they couldn't get out of the water together. The man, who was passing by, just undressed and jumped into the water to help them. With great effort, people managed to draw the animal to the place where it was easier to get it out. Thanks to this man, everything was done very quickly, and nobody had injuries. This raccoon was trapped in the wild forest and got rather aggressive to people who were trying to set the unhappy animal free. Hunters scatter traps all over the forests and sometimes forget about them, while helpless animals get into and suffer from pain and fear. The raccoon was so frightened that it didn't let people come close. It has very sharp teeth, and the man, who was trying to open the trap, was afraid that his boots would get bitten through. The raccoon got free and ran away to the forest as quick as it could. The man who saved him was very happy. Simon from Wildlife Aid was called out to rescue a fox in a builder's yard. The poor fox fell into a gap between a wall and a fence. On coming to the place, he thought it would be a really hard work to take the animal. But Simon was really lucky. That's the main thing. Come on, fella. That was dead lucky. Dead lucky. He skillfully pulled the fox out with the grasper very quickly. The animal was frightened, and Simon had to be really careful not to let the fox bite him. At last, he managed to grasp it with his hands. The rescuer released it nearby, where the fox could find his way home. Among the huge woodpile, a little puppy was crying for help. Yeah, yeah, I can hear. The people from Happy Dog Project, who had heard the little thing, were trying to find him. At last, they did it. The pup didn't look injured or hurt, and the rescuers just took him out. They gave him some drink and took the guy with them. But if they hadn't found him, the creature could have had a very poor destiny. In winter, Wild animals got into trouble very often. This beautiful wolf was trapped in a freezing river and was about to lose his life when a rescue team got it out of the water. The condition of the creature was so bad that it went unconscious. The people were trying to handle a medical emergency, but they failed. They couldn't bring the wolf round and took the poor animal to the hospital. There the doctor spent a lot of time and care trying to cure the wolf step by step, but their efforts paid off. The wolf got better at last. It spent some time in the hospital and after a while was set free. Winter is a really hard time for animals, especially for young ones. An extremely beautiful fawn got somehow in the middle of a frozen lake. The surface was too slippery and the poor animal was fully exhausted trying hopelessly to get to land. At first, people didn't know how to help it. They were afraid to approach because a scared fawn could attack them with its hooves. Besides, the animal was losing all its forces with every movement. Pushing the fawn towards land, they managed to help the little cutie. The story had a happy ending 
But just imagine what could have happened to the poor little deer if these people didn't come across it. In this case, the ending would be very sad. It is a very sad story about the man who had to spend most of his time picking up scraps to earn extra income for his family. One day, he found an abandoned kitten there. Evidently, someone had thrown it in a garbage bag. The man heard the kitten meowing. When the man took it out, the little kitty was all dirty and shivering. The kind man took the kitten home, washed it, dried it, and left it in his house. Just imagine. What could have happened if the man hadn't come to that landfill that day and didn't find the poor kitten? There are a lot of animals at the landfill walking along in the search of food. This little guy was found starving by people that couldn't pass by. It was winter, which is a rather tough period, especially for such a little thing. The puppy had some blood on its fur, but after checking, it turned out not to have any serious wounds. The people put it in the box and brought it home. They gave him infant milk, then washed and dried the little baby. The baby had been starving for a rather long time, and it needed good food and care, and it got it from his new owners. Some awful accidents happened not only to people, but to animals too. This dog was hit by a train, and his limbs were terribly injured. The people who found him were full of sorrows and thought they had to put him to sleep, but they decided to try to save him. Three of the dog's legs were completely crushed and had to be amputated. The operation took three hours, and the doctors managed to save his life. The dog named Deepak survived, and after six months, he almost completely recovered. Now, in spite of having only one full leg, he is a good swimmer and has a lot of fun with other dogs. Sometimes animals suffer because of losing their homes. So, this guy happened to rescue baby squirrels. The tree they lived in was cut down, and the creature badly needed to be cared for. In one of the logs, the guys found a bunch of baby squirrels that were so little that they even had no fur. Oh, look at it, dude. Look, it's like yawning. Do you see that? The rescuers took them very gently and put them in a basket. Then they took them to a rescue shelter, where specialists would help them to survive. Saving animals is not successful from time to time and can be dangerous for rescuers too. This tragic story happened to a poor badger, which got tangled in the rope that children had been using for swinging. The people from Wildlife Aid got a call and came to release it immediately, but easier said than done. The animal decided that people came to do it harm, so when the rescuer was trying to catch the badger, it did its best to resist. The big cutie was so strong and active that the rescuer couldn't hold it. He just stumbled over, fell down, and broke one of his ribs. At last, the badger was in a cage and the rescuers brought it to the hospital to set its foot free from the rope. Sorry to say, the rope had dug in deep and the badger's paw was in very poor condition. The tissue necrosis was so terrible that the vets had nothing to do but put the poor thing to sleep. The badger was found too late to help it. This was a very sad situation. This little cutie had problems with her right leg and almost couldn't walk. She was sitting on the road and was howling all the time because she felt so much pain. The rescuers from Animal Aid took this pup to the hospital, worrying she had a fracture. They were afraid that they would need much effort and time to cure it, but fortunately, the hip of the puppy was just sprained. All she needed was a little correction with care and affection. She spent in the center just several days, eating tasty food and getting a lot of cuddles. She was too sweet to let her go. Sea creatures often get into trouble connected with fishing nets. This time, the sea lion was tangled and was helplessly approaching the people's boat. The animal was so distressed that it let the people help it. It had severe wounds because of the ropes stuck in its body. It's in there like, ay, ay, ay. Yeah, I just don't want it to. Oh my gosh. Sorry, big girl. The doctors made an antibiotic injection, untangled the ropes, and released the creature, hoping it would be okay. Rescue a dog left in an abandoned house. Ah! People often change places, but sometimes they don't want to take their pets with them. So lonely animals are left with abandoned houses. This poor dog was trapped on the roof of the house and couldn't get down. The rescuers from Stray Rescue of St. Louis organization came to set her free. 
The dog was a bit aggressive and didn't want to let them come closer. Of course, she didn't trust anyone. The place was a complete dump. But the poor cutie had been living there for a long time. Of course, the rescuers took her to their center. The pup was very nice and happy to find kind people that wanted to take care of her. The cute thing didn't spend too much time in the shelter. She found a new family almost at once. Saving the hedgehog that got into a swimming pool. Going out into the swimming pool, a woman found out that something strange was in it. She couldn't make out what it was for the first time, but later she realized it was a hedgehog that had fallen into the pool. Of course, the animal had no chance to get out by himself. The woman was in a hurry to help the poor little boy and dove into the water. She managed to take him out and return this spiny cutie to the garden, where it was likely to live. It was a lucky case, because she could have come too late and the animal could have drowned. This is one more example of don't care attitude towards wild animals in the forest. People found this boy when wolf hunting season was already closed, but this one got in the trap which had been left behind. When people found him, the big wolf was barking and howling, trying to call his friends and it was a rather difficult task to set him free. One of the men put a noose on the wolf's head, and the animal got very nervous at first, but a bit later he calmed down. These people were very brave because trying to release the wolf's paw, they were very close to his mouth and his big, sharp teeth. The frightened animal could have attacked them at any time. One of the rescuers said that if there had been other wolves near the place, all of them would get no good from it. Saving a drowning puppy trapped in sewage. This small creature got into the sewer pipe somehow. He was crying with fear and despair. People from Animal Aid Unlimited in India came to save the poor thing, but he was almost impossible to reach. There was too much water, and he had spent too much time there. But the rescuers didn't give up and tried to get in from another side. When the puppy was taken out, he was in very bad condition and needed urgent help. But firstly, people let its mother comfort him. Luckily, the test showed that the little boy was okay. People kept him for a while to let him recover, and after that brought him back to his mother. She seemed to be very glad to get her boy back safe and sound. On January 11, 2019, in the evening, one of the houseboats partially sank. The owners were escaping quickly, leaving all their belongings, including their pets. The cat managed to get out, but the chihuahua got stuck. The next day, two scuba divers came to save the owner's belongings and hopefully the dog. Being cold and shivering, the dog was found alive. The loving owners sighed with relief. This time, Simon from Wildlife Aid had to deal with a rather tricky situation. The squirrel had been terrorizing an old lady in her own house. The woman even had to make barricades of old paper to hide from the little aggressor. The uninvited guest was hiding in the living room, and it wasn't an easy thing. When Simon caught the squirrel, it was very angry. <laughs> I'm a very cross squirrel. Yeah, stop squeaking. Okay, I'm gonna walk in. Have you got your back door open? The rescuer tried to release the creature in the garden, but it surprisingly came back into the house. Luckily, the squirrel changed its mind and disappeared into the garden. About 40 cats and kittens had been living in a terrible environment for almost a year. All these cats were abandoned by the owners of the house. Though all of the animals were in very poor condition, starving, covered with mud and fleas, they considered this place their home. And they got scared to death when people came and wanted to take them away. So they protected themselves fiercely. The rescue team spent a lot of time trying to catch all these animals and it was very hard and very emotional work as the rescuers felt great sympathy for these cats. The cats were everywhere. Several of them were found in the couch. It was full of them. And the rescue team made a lot of efforts trying to grasp them. They got the cats together at last and took them to the hospital where the doctors treated them with all their kindness. That was a very difficult day, but the rescuers did a heroic deed. A man rescued a puppy in the street Sometimes tragedy with animals can happen accidentally just in the street. This poor dog was likely choking on something and couldn't breathe. The tiny creature was laying unconscious and didn't move. For some time, the man was trying to take something out of his mouth and bring the puppy back to life, but he failed. So he decided to take the dog home. 
There, the man went on trying to rescue the unlucky thing. He even did mouth to mouth to make him breathe. At last, he managed to do that. I don't even want to imagine what could have happened if this kind man hadn't come to the dying dog's aid. When some terrible disasters happen, not only people suffer from them, but their pets do as well. Sometimes owners, leaving their houses in a hurry, forget to take their animal friends with them. But the good news is that there are some kind people who can't let the poor things die. On the 14th of September, 2018, a great flood came to Southwest North Carolina. Some volunteers were performing animal rescues by boat in flooded neighborhoods. They took two cats just out of the water and several dogs from the porches of the houses they were staying at. Without them, these creatures would not have had a chance to survive. I don't know how the owners feel after leaving their pets to die, but we hope they are sorry for their behavior. The people from dog rescue shelter Miladonovic in Serbia often get calls about abandoned dogs. This time, there was a puppy somewhere in a desolate area beside the road. When the rescuers came to the place, the little one was sitting beside the stone. How did he get there? No one knew. The puppy was really scared, and people had some problems catching it. But then suddenly, a thing happened. There are four more puppies along the bushes left alone without their mother. How did they manage to survive? The rescuers fed them, gave them some water, and took them to the shelter. Then all the little cuties got a medical check and help. No one knows why their mother wasn't beside them. She might have been killed or something like that. But these beautiful things almost had no chance to live without people's help. When cold times come, many birds fly away, but sparrows stay in their usual places. Of course, some of them suffer from intense cold. The tiny legs of this birdie froze to a metal rod, and the poor little creature couldn't fly away. The man noticed the bird by chance, by lucky chance, I should say. He was gently warming it for some time with his hands, trying not to hurt the small wings of the stressed sparrow. But it didn't help, so the man decided to try his hot breath. Surprisingly, the birdie was sitting calmly. Maybe it knew that the man was helping it out. At last, everything was okay and the rescued sparrow could fly. Deer got caught in the batting cage net. Two Bridgewater police officers saw the poor creature struggling desperately with its trap. Of course, they came to the rescue. The animal was really nervous, so it took about 10 to 15 minutes to help it. They cut off the net and then tried to untangle the deer. This was a really difficult task because of all those antlers and hooves. Feeling it was free, the deer quickly ran away. The rescuers were really satisfied with their good job. The organization Animal Aid Unlimited in India have helped a great number of animals. They react to every call they get. This time, there was a call about a calf with a bleeding mouth, and they went to the place immediately. When they came to the place, they saw a very small calf with smashed teeth and swollen lips. Everything looked terrible. The rescuers took him to the hospital. There, doctors did almost pinpoint workmanship, stabilizing his jaw. They even brought his mommy to make him feel comfortable. Every day, people from the organization dressed his wounds and made bandages to his jaw. In two weeks, everything was okay, and the calf could live a normal life again. But without any help, he would have surely died from starvation. The dog rescue shelter Mladenovac organization in Serbia found a sick dog with five puppies. She lived in an abandoned house and got very happy and calm when she saw people approaching. The people took all of them to a shelter. The mom had a severe form of demodex and had lost a lot of hair. As the mother was ill, the rescuers checked all the puppies. They seemed to have a weaker form of the same illness. On coming to the shelter, the family was immediately washed and treated against their parasites. After a long period of treatment, the mom with the pups were happily adopted. Sometimes even big animals get into trouble. These two elephants, evidently a mom and a calf, came into the canal to drink, but they couldn't get out because the banks were too high and smooth. A lot of people gathered to help the unlucky giants. People made something like a ladder with ropes and tires for them. The clever animals understood how to use it. First, mom managed to get out, with some difficulties of course, but she did it. Then her child got out too great thanks to caring and kind people. 
People from Blue Cross of India Technical Animal Rescue were called to help a silly little cat stuck in the can. It was very curious to get inside and now was suffering from its curiosity. The rescuers cut the can with the scissors, trying not to hurt the poor thing. At last, the little naughty cat was set free. A wild dog had his head stuck in a plastic jar and could barely breathe. The poor thing had been found by a woman who came to help with the rescuers from Animal Aid India. The dog was desperately trying to get rid of its trap and behaved extremely aggressive. The two men acted very quickly. One of them held the animal in his hands, another was cutting the jar. At last, they managed to take off the plastic thing from the dog's face. The scared pup ran away immediately. The family going along the road found a dog at the landfill. The dog was a bit frightened, but being very hungry, came closer to the man. It was obvious that the little creature is covered with ticks. The kind people decided to take the pup home. There they gave him some food, washed out all his ticks, and dried him with a blow dryer. Then the rescuers combed out the rest of the ticks. The dog was likely to know that the people were trying to help and let them do what they needed to do. Then they sprayed the pup with special medicine to prevent new parasites. 20 days later, he had no ticks or fleas and was absolutely healthy. Rescue Animals TN Center in Vietnam spend their days helping animals that get in trouble. This time, they had to deal with a very angry pregnant cat that had got into one man's house. The cat was very aggressive and didn't want to leave the place she had chosen. The team spent a lot of time in the house until the cat smelled the food in the trap and didn't come in. The people took the cat to their center where several nice kittens, found in other places, were waiting for good care too. The cat was very angry about the kittens, and the rescuers had to put them apart with the cat. I hope this cat got the love she needed and stopped being so angry. Here is one more Indian organization that saves wild animals' lives. This time, Rescue Charitable Trust, India, rushed to save the leopard that got into a food trap. <laughs> Firstly, the vets shot the wild cat with a sleeping mixture to calm it down. While the animal was sleeping, the rescuers took off the trap. Then, they put the leopard in a transport cage and brought it to the clinic where the doctors had to deal with its injuries. Hope it would be okay. All the people on their channels need your support badly and do help them with your likes and support. But something unexpected and unbelievable too, visit Amazing Things channel. You're sure to have a lot of fun. Watch and subscribe. See you.